In the blended learning classroom, we are a lot of station-based and a good chunk of our day is used at our stations. Prior to managing through the stations, there was a lot of whole group instruction of what to do at each station, what each program looks like before they were able to break off independently and man maintain through their stations. Currently I have four stations in my classroom and um, the students are based in heterogeneous groups and they rotate through the four stations. On our tablets I have a lot of um, apps that I've downloaded to each tablet. The apps are free choice. They have sight words, high frequency words, CVC words, phonics, rhyming games. They're more game based that students can use, um, choose which apps they use. The ST Math is independently completed on their Chromebooks at their desk for 30 minutes a day. Imagine Learning is a station where they're all set up to um, work on independently for 25 minutes, but I oftentimes pull from that center to do um, reteaching or pre-teaching for an activity. And then I am working with a group generally on some type of writing using Edmodo, um, something to work on a performance based learning. I like to set them up to be about 20 minutes and a lot of the stations I, I do create, it's okay if they don't finish it because it's kind of an ongoing thing. It's not that assignment that's due at the end of the day and if it's not, it's gone. It's a zero. It's, a, it's an ongoing process. It's really important also to have a list of extra may do's when they're finished with their stations, something that they can work on when they're finished. And so a lot of my kids do that. They don't even come and ask me anymore. They just know. What I typically do for stations is um, I'll switch it up sometimes. So it won't always be the same thing every day. Um, what I do have the same every day is the location of the station. So I'll have signs up in my room where it's, that's the ST math station, that's the Imagine Learning station, that's the Kid Blog station. So they know where to go and so it's not like, oh, walking around with my computer, I don't know where to go. So I, that is the same. Um, but I do change it up sometimes. So some days we'll have a Kid Blog station, some days we'll have just two stations where it's ST math and Imagine Learning. Um, some days if I feel like some of, I do need to pull a small group, I'll, I'll pull those kids and I'll send the other kids to stations where, like I, I said, they can work completely independently. Um, I don't recommend doing it every day and I don't recommend doing it until, you have, until you've done that with the whole class. Creating station rotations, there's a lot of routines and procedures that go into it at the kindergarten level in, early on in the beginning. They have to become experts in the programs that they're using to, in order to use them independently at their stations. Once you feel that they're independent and can log on um, correctly by themselves, then I've set it up where um, they know that they're in flexible groupings and to check the board where they need to be. Um, at each location when it's time to switch. We have a signal that they use, they stop, they freeze, they put their hands on their head, listen for our instructions before they move on to the next station. Centers are a big part of my day. That small group instruction time is so important, um, especially in a, in a blended learning classroom. So um, in order to make things smooth in transitions, um, I use a one, two, three method. So one means that they all stand up and a two means they point to where they're going. This is a way for me to check for understanding that they know where they're going um, and I can assist anybody that doesn't understand what to do. And then on three, they walk to their centers um, and grab any tools that they need at that center.